So I just got off one of the live sales labs that we do every Tuesday at noon Eastern time where salespeople come in and we actually just pick a topic. This week it was to qualify or to disqualify. We talk about possible ways to do it, definitions of it, how we're doing it now, and other ways to try and take a different tactic or a different approach to get a different result. That's why we call it the sales lab. So today's question, to qualify or disqualify, was really more about what's your mindset when you're asking questions to move people through the sales funnel. And not surprisingly, a lot of people, because traditional sales training teaches us that we need to qualify. Do we actually have budget and when are they going to buy to qualify whether or not they're a real opportunity? But if you actually take the mindset of disqualification, which qualification, if you think about it, is all about you, where disqualification is really all about the buyer. And finding out, do I really understand and have identified the decision maker, the person who signs the check, the right side of the check, not the back, but the front? And do I really know what their compelling reason is to want to change the status quo? And hint, if you're talking to the person who's writing the check, the status quo that they want to change is probably a dollar amount and a date. And have I identified all of the possible challenges and obstacles to their success? And have I brought them up and come up with a solution or a plan to work around those so that they'll be successful? So these are the kinds of questions that you need to ask and the approach to take when you're disqualifying rather than qualifying. And the thing that's going to change in your pipeline is that you're probably going to have a more accurate forecast. You're probably going to be prospecting more because you're not going to be keeping old stuff in your pipeline that might someday close if you just do one more follow-up. Instead, you're going to be then feeling that urgency to prospect a little bit more. So disqualification means a full pipeline so that you're not afraid to say to that customer who's not a good fit, who's not going to be successful with your solution, no, this might not be the best fit for you. So stay tuned for the next live sales lab. Um, we're going to be talking about starting conversations in March.